her sides on the way. She's going to play their football to contest a place in the final of the FA Cup. You can see already that Liverpool are How did he manage to get that speed? I was going to say, you can see already that Liverpool are really up for this, aren't they? Cedron! Early goal from Victor Cedron. Right foot shot. Can use both feet. Very good player. As I've said before, really like this player. Which is Leeds United 1, Liverpool 0, early doors. All right. Liverpool is throwing. And the Osterage is really up for the game and robs my player as my player just falls. And this is a corner. And there's with a header. Trying to find some space out to Cedron. Looking for Wasberg and that, I don't know whether that took a deflection but that seems to have gone more back than forward. And as you can see Liverpool really are biting into this. Maklashov's made a run, he won't get there because the Liverpool defender decides to come forward and Maklashov decides to go forward but slower. So there's only going to be one winner to the ball. And the ball has slipped through, I don't like that kind of space here but Gomez has done very well again. Go Gomez just comes a little deeper. Will it? Just plays the ball to him. So let's see, it's in the eye of it. Nice edge. Pratt is through, we're going to have to hit. The corner, Gomez had to wait. Man on the near post just uh, swatted it away with his leg. His foot. Liverpool worked the ball. And then you can see from the intensity and quickness of their passing, they're really up for this. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Wasberg and now Maklashov has made a run. I don't know where. Why did Wasberg need to angle the pass? The space was completely forward. He would have been completely through. And then a goal scoring opportunity. Why did why did it do that? Why why does the game need to do that? I didn't name it there. Wasberg, Maklashov, Wasberg. We're in. Oh. Sturridge is really up for the game for Liverpool, and I tell you what, Wasberg's on the red as well, so both the uh, the main men are really up for this. Sturridge and Wasberg. Let's see some uh, sparks fly in that department. Not if we get through balls like that. Straight to the Liverpool players, but, but Wasberg could be in here. He's sad, just trying to challenge and Balotelli's through all of a sudden. Little feet, that was blocked, but he didn't need it. Balotelli didn't hit the target. Me out of it. Being chased, look at that. Wasberg now is through, Wasberg. Well, I didn't get it quite to, as far toward the post as I would have liked. I had the room to turn. Wasberg fired in the shot, but more at the keeper than anything else. Maklashov. Oh, I saw the white shirt, I didn't see the yellow. I tend to look at the radar in situations like that. And one thing I'm going to do 
I've been wanting to do. I had a different playthrough and I was using different the pitch and I liked it. This edge coming shorter. Making the space for the pass to Victor Tedron. You can't make the space for the pass to Wasberg because they just shut it down. Good challenge. And here come Liverpool before half time. And I've got a feeling that before half time I'm not going to be able to clear this properly. I can't get towards the ball there. Oh! Just run into like a bulldozer. I can't get this away. I did say just then, I did say it's an FA Cup semi final, and there's generally what happens in important games near half time. You cannot get the ball away. I couldn't get the ball away. They flattened Cedron. I didn't get a free kick. I felt I should have, but they have the goal. Wasberg has been moved away like a salt put on a table, just brushed aside from that. Galdino has been fouled. Galdino fouled. Not liking the. Uh, some of this stuff. But at half time it's 1 1. Well, second half is underway, and I've found out much to my surprise that the camera is indeed a zoom of zero and the angle is indeed a six so it must have kept it. And Serge, Serge wrong. I can see Mathis, I can't get up for the header, the, the defender behind is just pushing my player out, out of the way, I'm pushing them out of the way. He's played it too close to their player just so that they can get the ball. Normally those balls onto the wing are more angled, and certainly where I played it, I didn't play it towards their defender. I can't, I can't get near him. He kept trying to push my defender behind him, I couldn't get near him around the side. The game is absolutely cheating. That, that's cheating. That's nowhere near where I've played that ball. I didn't play it as far forward as that, you know what I mean? I played it more sort of angled. And it won't, it won't do it. Berg. can't get this and it goes kindly to them in fact there's Liverpool it's so like the Norwich game when, when they kicked through the back of my player and didn't give away a penalty and didn't get a yellow card and didn't give, get a red card like other stuff that I've put on a billion and one times on here because it happens all the freaking time but my player does something and it's a yellow card straight away get around him. I tried very hard to skip around him there. I can't play the ball, it's going to fall just kind of to them all of the time, no matter what I do. My Kinless has left him all alone, get the cross in. Blackbird with a header! Had to be! Absolutely had to be. They left him all alone. They left Lycan on the line on the right hand side. More square. We're probably going to have to come forward again. He's picked the wrong defender for me and it's opened that pocket up there. the goalkeeper, just really strange.
the search to me out of it and then he's gone he's gone I, I wanted to play the pass and he's just run behind their man so the ball's only going to travel one way to their players feet basically is the reason bollocks isn't it this referee on this game it's shit they're running away from the football we can't defend this they're running away We weren't allowed to defend that. He's just run behind them again. I forgot to go bench. Lucy has can come on instead. And Sedge. Sedge on. Looking for that, I sure we're not finding, and the defender just watches that. Gomez with a good header. Rosberg's in, it's surely. 3 2. Two goals for the blonde haired Swede. <laughs> okay. And this is great. Oh, it's just completely bastardised my pass and overridden the direction of it. That was to his edge. On my stick, on my pad, that was to his edge. On the screen, it was to them. Me out of it. Wasberg now. Oh, don't go back. Price has gone back at the... Oh, I had that all in my head that, you know, just take it away at that side. But well, we've won it, and they're doing their best to get in each other's way and give it away. Yeah, I love it. We're going to have to go deeper here. It's shutting down those little passes that I want to do sort of diagonally longer. Oh, but straight to his feet. It was easy to get it to him. It was easy to get it through there. Well read from Galdino. And Galdino striding forward. And we've got Wagner on the overlap with a fresh leg. Then the left foot crosses. Akashov can't, just can't win it. Mignolet punches. Central it goes to Mihailovic. It's all over. It's all over. Pryak punches the air. My Kinnelis shaking the fist, he's happy with that. A very, very keenly contested semi final comes to a close. Leeds United 3, Liverpool 2. 54% of the possession went to my Leeds United team. Nine shots apiece, six on target from Leeds, four from Liverpool. A Good pass completion rate from both teams. Both teams played good football. 82% pass completion rate from Leeds United. 89% pass completion rate from Liverpool. Liverpool with 15 interceptions. They were really biting into it. Leeds with the nine tackles. And the man of the match was the blonde-haired Swede, Wasberg with a brace that puts Leeds United into the final and sends Liverpool disappointed searching for a final place again and they'll have to go at it next season